Hello everyone, we're group 23 and we did the machine learning benchmark project 2. So this is our main page when you click on the application. After you can see that there's a select database button, there is some, uh, something you can select for the t training and testing ratio and different classifiers you can set as well as view the log. So when we start off, I'm, I'm going to start off by selecting a database and I'm going to do the iris.csv file and then I can pick a predicting variable that I want to classify on. I'm going to select species and then I'm going to set the training and testing ratio. Now I'm setting the training ratio to 80% while the testing or 82% while the testing ratio is 18%. Now I can set a classifier that I want to run. I can set multiple or just one. In this case I'm just going to select the naive base classifier and then I'm going to run with these parameters in place. And now I can also select parameters for the naive Bayes classifier. So I can select whether it's a regular or a multinomial naive Bayes. I'm just going to select multinomial naive Bayes and then I'm going to run it. Currently this just ran in our phone as opposed to the server. We have a connection to the server and we're able to upload data and run it there. However, we're not able to retrieve the models back and make it run on the phone. So for this demo purposes, we're running the models on our phone through Weka. So as you can see, after it finished running, you have the option to select, go to the logs and look at the results. So when we click on the logs, you can see that we selected the naive Bayes classifier, 82% on testing, and what we predicted on, as well as the file we chose, as well as the execution times for testing and training. It also shows the different results that are expected of our application to show performance for both the testing and training phase. And now I can either delete the logs or go back. Uh, I'm just going to go back and run a different um, algorithms or classification algorithms. So now I'm just going to select a different database. This time I'm going to select data.csv, which is another, um, uh, which is another classification uh, uh, data file. This one is from AAF. This, this one is to predict uh, cancer for patients. And we're just going to uh, predict on diagnosis. And again, I can change it to a different ratio. I'll keep it relatively the same to 71%. And this time, I'm going to run random forest and KNN, our two other classification algorithms. Now I'm going to set the parameters for this. So KNN by default is one. I can set to set it to something else. I'm going to set it to three. I'm going to leave the other distance error type and distance weight to the same. But for random forest, I've set the number of trees, the max depth, max depth, and the percent of each bag. For number of trees, I'm going to set twenty. And for max depth, I'm going to set three. And for percentage of each bag, I'm going to set a uh, hundred. And then now I'm, I can run this again and by clicking run. This is currently running in our phone. As you can see, it started and finished with the testing. And now I can go to the log file and view this again. As you can see, this is our old, old um, running of the uh, naive Bayes classifier. But below that, you can see the random forest and KNN classification. You can also see all the parameters as well as the execution times and the classification accuracies and things like that. And now I can either go back and delete the logs or do some other classification with other data files. And for our future work for this uh, application, all we have to do is retrieve the models from the server and then run them on this phone. Currently, we are training and testing on the phone using Weka. We have Weka installed in the server. We just need to uh, create a connection between the server and the phone to download, download the model files so that we can run the testing on the phone.